From Quincy Ameriquois, breakthrough start to a bevy of young talent and a stable of veteran leaders. The future is bright for the men in red. This afternoon, the Fire look for their first win of 2014 as they host the Philadelphia Union. Chicago Fire soccer begins now. They can score now if they can just tidy things up. And the red kits, Chicago Fire on their home field, Toyota Park, and off we go. He had to do that in his college days, playing as the natural number 10. And now in the professional game, he's been forced to up his work rate a little bit. Akugo stumbles. This is Ameriqua. McGee! Fire get the first one. The MVP grabs it. What about that from the magic man, Mike McGee? We talked about the power, the pace of Quincy Ameriqua. Look how evident that is. Picks the pocket of Akugo and then picks out his strike partner. Wonderful delivery. And Mike McGee took home his first of the season. Classy finish for McGee. It's great to see him off the mark. And then watch his celebration afterwards. Tries to copy Quincy Ameriqua's first against Chivas USA. Excellent start from the Chicago Fire. Deserving of the lead. Look at that for a celebration from McGee. Great look from our crew, too. He's like a shifty little feline after a seven-hour nap. The way he gets in the right position to accept that pass from Quincy Ameriqua. Behind the ball again, the Notre Dame product, Harry Ship. Little deeper service, McGee, punching it wide off the header. Looking for his second in the first 20 minutes of the match. Not too far away at all again. Spectacular delivery. Mike McGee. We don't talk about McGee's aerial ability too often. <laughs> Just inches away, grabbing his second of the game. And there's the whip one in now again. Big test for the back line. Sean Johnson out of his area to punch that away. It's now a little more momentum and composure behind the ball here for Philadelphia. Long blast. Second ball. Back of the goal and Philadelphia has leveled it. Maurice Adu, fine finish, has leveled things up and a little bit unlucky from a Chicago Fire standpoint, but it will go down as a sloppy equalizer. Just takes a bit of a wicked deflection off John Kennedy Hurtado and falls kindly at the feet of Maurice Adu. Baki Sumari stopped. You just watch that again. Baki Sumari actually stopped and I think he thought that the play had come to a, a halt, which it didn't. The boot of Fernandez. They're going to look for Aaron Wheeler. You can be sure of that at the back post with Baki Sumari. Oh, they find it. Fernandez. Casey misses it, but so does everybody else off the free kick in Philadelphia as their first lead of the afternoon. Philadelphia Union players congratulate Leo Fernandez. I don't think it took a touch off anybody. Just watch this, a good delivery. Evade Sean Johnson, that's so difficult for a goalkeeper. He's relying on his defenders to get a touch and clear the danger. Jeff Arentowitz couldn't get there. And taking him long to settle into this game at all. It's Lavelle Palmer and Patrick Diaco in the sunshine on the outside. Palmer racing in, curls it in, Duca! Off the deflection in front of Ameriqua. Conveniently dropping down to Zach McMath. Much better from the Chicago Fire. Excellent work down the flank from Lavelle Palmer. Delivers a great ball. Let's see Ameriqua, a little bit unlucky. Let's get a stronger touch. Two man wall in the gear and Bone. McGee clips it in. Samari raising up Alex. Well off frame. Knocked down anyway. Here's Juan Luis. A clumsy attempt. Couldn't make contact. You said it, Dan. You talked about those chances. This ball falls beautifully for Juan Luis and I'm going to throw your head at it. 
He's got to throw his head at that. It's a big time chance for the Chicago Fire right there. He hesitates. He's disappointed. Mike McGee off the free kick. Click and front. Back of the goal. The Fire have leveled it here late. Big Bucky behind it. A deserved equaliser for the Chicago Fire. I talked about attacking the ball from the set play, and that's exactly what Juan Luis Anagano did. Maybe it already passed the line. Time will tell to see who actually gets the goal. It looks to me like Juan Luis Anagano may have scored the goal already before it crossed the line, but Baki Samari was there to make sure of it. Chicago Fire get the goal they deserve. And for me, that looks like Juan Luis Anagano's goal. First of the season for the Ecuadorian. Pocono felt he was fouled. Meantime, here comes Mike McGee for the winner. Fires it over the bar. And all hell has broken loose here at Toyota Park. Players down injured at both ends. Good theater late. Here's that first chance. What a ball into the onrushing Greg Cochran. He strikes. Is this a foul? No, it would have been very, very soft. And then Philadelphia Union break up the other end. And Big Baki Samara used all his presence to just toss Hopeno to the side. And then look at this for madness. Mike McGee. That's a lot closer than it looks. Watch this one more time, just blazes over the top corner. It's reminiscent of his goal against Philadelphia on the road last year from the right side. Stave away any danger for the Chicago Fire. Well played, Quincy. And running his socks off on that end of the field about 45 seconds ago, he looked a little fatigued going forward, but quickly replenishes the tank. The big man, Anangano, going forward, gets taken down in the box. Juan Luis Anangano and the Fire oh. are going to have a chance to win this match from the spot. Zach McMath readies. Mike McGee. Save McMath. Second ball. McGee in a miraculous recovery from Zach McMath to keep it out. What a way to finish a match. The wrong way for Mike McGee and the Chicago Fire. It's Zach McMath. Not once, but twice. And the second opening was a very, very good chance as well for Mike McGee. He just needed to try and lift it, which he did. Heroics, absolute heroics from Zach McMath. That's a wonderful stop. That's a good penalty for Mike McGee. Kept it low, plenty of power. That's an excellent save from the goalkeeper. Stepping up at the right time, Zach McMath, a beast, shuts down last year's MVP, Mike McGee. What a way to finish a match, the wrong way for Mike McGee and the Chicago Fire, it's Zach McMath. Not once, but twice.